Welcome back to another video lecture of financial market and instrument. In our previous classes, we are discussing about insurance, which is a risk management tool, which is highly in use. We have talked of insurance, what it is, how it is working, what are the principle on which this insurance is working, what are the types of insurance and we have talked of many other things about this insurance sector. In today's class, we are going to read on that how this insurance sector is been regulated. There is an institution, the apex body which is regulating the insurance sector that is IRDA. So, in today's class, we will go inside and see that what is this IRDA and how this IRDA is working. So, this Insurance Regulatory and Development Authority of India that is more famously known as IRDA is the supreme authority that authorizes the insurance business in India. It was established by the Insurance Regulatory and Development Authority of India Act 1999 and it, and it is an autonomous body. So, the IRDA is now headquartered in Hyderabad in the state of Telangana. But uh, prior to 2001, this is been headquartered in New Delhi. So, let us see about the establishment of this IRDA. The IRDA was established on the commendations made by the Malhotra committee in its report. So, this Malhotra committee is been headed by Mr. R. N. Malhotra who is a retired governor of the Reserve Bank of India. He is the person who is heading this Malhotra committee and finally, in uh, 2000 in the month of April, it is set up in New Delhi and after that, it is shifted to Hyderabad in 2001. And the main recommendation made by this Malhotra committee was to allow the entrance of private sector companies and foreign promoters and independent regulatory authority for the insurance sector in India. So, this is the prime thing that is been given forward in this committee that is the Malhotra committee. So, this is how it comes to its establishment. Now, what is the objective with which this IRDA is working? So, there are various objectives on which this IRDA is working for that are to carry forward the interest of the policy holders, to uphold the development of the insurance industry to ensure a speedy resolution of claims, to prevent frauds and uh, malpractices, to ensure fair conduct on the part of the financial market and transparency when dealing with insurance. So, if we will see that uh, this uh, IRDA is a apex body which has been established according to the IRDA Act in 1999. And if we will see the establishment of IRDA has come under and committees which is headed by Malhotra and uh, which is famously known as Malhotra committee and in that the priority or the, the gist of that committee that come out is to make the insurance sector of India privatized or uh, we can say to allow the foreign investors to invest in this insurance sector. And this IRDA is working with the objective of a protection of the policyholders, transparency and we can say moreover the frameworks on which there will be authentication, reliability, trustworthiness of this in industry will be intact. And there will be both the policy holders and the one who are rendering these uh, services or the companies, those who are running this insurance sector will uh, be feel secure and there will be some authentication. That is what the objective of this IRD is. Now, we will have a look on the chairman of IRD and uh, the chairman of the insurance regulatory and development of authority of India is appointed by the column uh, that is the coalition in consultation with the president of India. That is a three member constituent which is been uh, done. 
and the present uh, as per august 2019 the chairman of the insurance regulator and development authority of india is subhash chandra khuntia you can see the picture of uh, mr subhash chandra khuntia he is the chairman of, he is the present chairman of the irda and he was appointed in 2018 for this post and as per the insurance regulatory and development of authority act 1999 the sal the salary of the chairman of the insurance regulatory and development of authority of india is 4.5 lakhs per month so this is about the chairman of the irta and he holds office for a term of 5 years according to section 5 of insurance regulatory and development of authority act 1999 now we know about the chairman of irda let's have a look let's have a look on the composition of the irda or we can say the organizational structure of the irda so irda is a 10 member body there are 10 members those who are included in this irda team which is consisting of one chairman who will be there for 5 years and the maximum age of the chairman should be 60 years there will be five whole time members that are also appointed for 5 years and the maximum age of these whole time members is 62 years apart from that four part time members are there which will also not hold the position for more than 5 years and the chairman and the members of irda are appointed by the government of india so all these 10 members those who are there the members and the chairman they are been appointed by the government of india this is the composition of irda and the present chairman as we have already seen that he is the subhash chandra khuntia now what is the role of this irda or insurance regulatory development authority if you'll see the role of irda includes to ensure interest and fair treatment to the insurance policy holders to ensure the development of the insurance industry or sector and to impart benefits to people and long term funds to increase the growth of the in economy and to promote and apply high standards of integrity fair dealing the ability of all those uh, companies that is uh, administers and also to ensure clarity and accuracy while uh, contracting with the insurance uh, policy holders the authority has to ensure that uh, true information has been rendered regarding products and services also to make policy holders aware of the different policies and plans that are being implemented by the insurance sector apart from that it also play the role to provide speedy trials in case of disputes and to prevent fraud of any other misconducts that uh, that come to the notice of the Uh, irda or the insurance regulatory development authority apart from that it is also having the role to initiate new standards where they are needed or uh, where there is lack of such standards are pointed out or uh, they are they are found then this is also the look out of the irda to look after the new standards and uh, to formulate that it also promote self regulations in daily activities with the necessary regulations so no, not only to regulate the sector but also the self regulation is also been done by the irda so these are the roles of the irda or insurance regulatory development authority is now what are the impact of this irda if we will see that uh, the effects of insurance regulator and development authority are having various impacts we will see that one by one the first is the effects over regulation of insurance sector so this is the impact uh, the first impact that the ird is having that uh, to regulate the insurance sector so this irda has a huge impact on the insurance sector of india and the authority has to keep a close check on the insurance sector to ensure that the interest of the policy holders remain intact 
and it regulates every activity of the insurance sector. So this is what is the impact of the IRDA over the regulation of the insurance sector is. And if we see it also have the effects over policy holders interest protection. So it's not only regulating the insurance sector, it is also taking care of the interest of the policy holders or the protection of the policy holder if you say. So and uh, that is the main purpose of the uh, authority to protect the interests of the policy holders and it has kept us with its uh, purpose. Apart from that, it also have effect over awareness to insurance that is the IRDA in order to ensure that the interest of the policy holders are protected has to make sure that the policy holders are aware of all the latest policies and plans of the authority that could benefit them. That means it is spreading the awareness among the policy holders so that they can choose the best and appropriate policy according to their need. It also have an if impact or effect over insurance market. So there is a great transformation in the market due to the effects of the insurance regulated and development authority if we'll see be it with respect to marketing, insurance products, competition and customer awareness everywhere the IRDA is going to have its impact or effect. So that is also a effect of the IRDA is that it is strengthening the insurance market. It also affects over the development of insurance product. If you will see that in order to ensure the growth of the insurance market, IRDA has to produce new methods that would help in increasing its efficiency. So the development of unit linked insurance plans in the is the result of privatization of the insurance sector, a step that is taken by the insurance regulated and development authority of India. Apart from that, it effects is seen over the competition in the insurance sector. If you say that initially when there was no privatization, there was no competition. So the different companies in the insurance sector had to compete among themselves. But after the advent of the privatization of the insurance sector, the competition has increased. Now it means international competition and it has increased the level of competition. So this is how also the IRDA is affecting or making the insurance sector of India effective. It also has effects over government responsibility. So it is because of this IRDA that the government is doing everything possible to ensure uniformity, accountability and responsibility in the insurance sector. And apart from that, it also have effects over banks and post offices. So insurance sector has resulted in giving security against any kind of uncertainties of risk. So the insurance sector has become a popular medium for savings and investments. Thus, the insurance regulatory and development authority has helped in diverting the flow of funds from banks and post offices to the insurance industry. If you will see this effect also can be seen over the individual's life. Now because of the awareness created by the insurance regulated and development authority and the policies introduced by it has resulted in a great impact on the life of an individual. It also has some effect over the share market if you will see. Since the insurance regulatory and development authority has introduced this unit linked insurance plans as insurance plan in which the policy holders get investment and insurance in a single plan. So this is what the unit linked insurance plans are. So because of that more and more people are trying out the plans or taking the plans therefore with the help of insurance products can now be raised more easily for the companies and has attached many persons indirectly with the activities of the share market. And uh, lastly, it is having the effects over the economy of India. The insurance uh, regulatory and development uh, authority 
effects over the economic development of the country because money invested by the investors of the individuals in various types of insurance products has channelized the funds of a country for a non-economic activity to economic activity and has made available to the government of a country in order to implement the various developmental activities in the country. So, this is what are the effects of the IRDA is. So, these are the effect of IRDA if we will see on the various sectors and various things including the individual's life also is. And if we will see that this IRDA or the Insurance Regulatory Development Authority is helping in the economic development by imparting various uh, roles or by functioning in various ways and encouraging in investment and if you will see that newly adopted concept of uh, unit linked that is the giving the platform for both insurance and the plan for investment in a single turn is definitely accelerating and encouraging the policy holders to shift from various uh, investment avenues and adopting insurance, insurance policies as an investment avenue. As we have previously said that insurance is only made for the assurance of the property or assurance of the of the things that are in stake or that are in risk but the unit linked thing has uh, drastically bring changes in the insurance sector and this is an initiative of IRDA. Now how this IRDA is been regulated let us have a look on that. The IRDA regulations, if you will see, according to the section 26 of the Insurance Regulatory and Development Authority of India Act 1999, the authority after consulting the insurance advisory committee can produce some new regulations under the act which will help in achieving the objective of the and the authority make regulations in various matters. So, these are the various matters on which the authority can make regulations that are the time and place of the meetings and the manner in which they are going to be held. The In the, in the provisions mentioned in section 10 subsection 4 of the act, the conditions of uh, service of officers and other employees, the powers entrusted in the hands of the committee of the members under section 23 of subsection 3. In any other matters that requires new rules also, they can uh, take the uh, regulations or they can look into those matters. So, this is how the IRDA is uh, having the regulations or how it is being regulated if you will see. Now, what is the functions and the duties of IRDA? Let us have a look on that. According to section 14 of IRDA Act 1999, it lays down the duties and functions of IRDA. Section 14 is the one which is imparting or laying down the duties and functions. In that, we have the various duties and function that are, it issues the registration certificates to insurance companies and uh, regulates them. It protects the interest of policy holders, it uh, provides license to insurance intermediaries such as the agents and brokers after specifying the required qualifications and the set norms or codes of conduct of, for them. It promotes and regulates the professional organizations uh, related with insurance uh, business to promote efficiency in insurance sector. It uh, regulates and uh, supervises the premium rates and uh, terms of insurance covers. It uh, specifies the conditions and manners according to which the insurance companies and other intermediaries have to make their financial reports. It uh, regulates the investment of policy holders funds by insurance companies and it also ensures the maintenance of solvency margin by insurance companies. So, these are the functions and duties of IRDA. So, this is how the IRDA come to its existence, 
how it is been organizationally structured or we can say how it is composed of what are the objective of behind the establishment of IRDA, what are the functions it is doing and what are its effects on the various uh, sections and segments of the economy and of uh, the country. So this is what IRDA is. This is all for today's class. In our next classes, we will be discussing many other interesting topics. For today, thank you.